I'm James. I'm uh, one of the managers here at Alton Tractors. We're a sort of small company in Derbyshire. We've got uh, nine staff, and um, yeah, we've recently taken on uh, the first UK power by cramp shop. And yeah, I think there's a few more now. So yeah, we're the starters of it. One of the reasons we want to change, uh, yeah, to sort of you've got to move with the times. You've got to try and be ahead of the curve otherwise you get left behind so there's lots of other dealers in the area and we had to do something different to try and beat them. Uh, it was somebody that we asked for help or information we, we asked um, the cramp reps we asked a couple of other companies as well um, and people's opinions on it and yeah so uh, it was mainly the uh, our dealer representatives and things for companies that we asked sort of the information for. We, we went to a couple of other dealers shops and saw what they had already, um, saw what they sort of had working for them and what didn't work and so we had an idea in our mind of what would work in the end. We started in December um, and we finished the project in July um, from starting knocking down the old building and taking all the old roof off and everything, completely building a new building, new floors. Um, and then uh, stocking out the shelves and getting it ready for an open day in July. We've got, definitely got more turnover in product through the shop. Um, we've got more people who uh, impulse buy, you could say, so come in for something, pick up something else. That's one of the biggest things you notice is they'll pick up small products while they're here. Um, also, the um, sort of side of why we chose Power by Cramp store there's the advertising and sort of, incent uh, sort of publications that go with it to help sell products and we definitely sell a lot more products because of that. Do we sell yeah, products to new people? Yeah, we have the posters and bro uh, brochures that are sent out, we've had uh, several, each time one goes out we have two or three at least new customers that we've never seen before come in because of the brochure itself and buy things off it and then we've seen them again since. So yeah, gaining new custom from it. If we did it again, what would we change? Uh, we'd probably go bigger, because uh, we've got a 60 meter square shop and we've completely filled it already and we could fill it double the size quite happily. So no, so we'd go bigger, I would say. It was, it's, a, it's a big investment to do, but it's definitely working. Could Cramp help more with the size? And we, we were the first shop, so I guess we're a bit of a test bed anyway, but um, they tailored the racking and everything for the size that we got to maximise the space. We didn't want to initially stretch into a bigger area without knowing how it would go, so I guess it was a good compromise in the middle. But yeah, if we want, if we want to expand or anything, they're happy to help. How important is service for us? It's the most important thing. It's what gets your customers and what keep, keeps customers loyal to you. If you can sell a customer a product once and give them bad service and you make, make money out of it once, you see them once, you look after them once. If you look after them well and price is right and the uh, people you deal with are good, they come back again and again and that's yeah, a very important part of, sort of what we do is we want to see people over and over. Is it from nature or sort of naturally? It's, um, it's, what, it's what we've always sort of tried to do. We don't we never try to rip people off or um, deal with them sort of out of faith. Um, you're, it's always better to end up with a friend than an enemy. And yeah, especially in business, it's nice to have people come back and want to deal with you. Other advice for customers in all of Europe, yeah. Um, you've got to sell products that people want. Um, we've got a lot of stock and it, we find we do very well out of shop, out of things that we keep in stock. People come here because we have a large range of slurry fittings, we have every hydraulic fitting on the shelf, we have a lot of oil, we have all the parts to keep people going. Um, even if you haven't got the part, if you can get them going, if you can bodge two parts together to make it work, to keep them happy, to keep them in the field, to keep them working, that's what seems to be most important. Um, it's great to be able to get stuff next day, but also having, having or being able to sort them out at the time in their need is yeah, very important.